So yesterday we got a comment on our Motivational Monday 3 video on keeping your emotions in check during business. The comment was, does that work with marriage? Now, first off, I want you all to know that we are not in no way, shape, or form marriage counselors or anything like that. So, uh, as well as I want to state that our marriage is different than <laughs> a lot of people's marriage. <laughs> uh, no marriage is the same. Uh, you know, so what works for us, I, I would guarantee a lot of things that work for us don't work for a lot of other marriages. So I just want to put that disclaimer out there. I am not a marriage counselor. And that's way too much school and bullshit. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. But as far as our marriage goes and our opinion in this situation, I would say yes it absolutely makes us stronger because there is you're gonna have that emotional tie with your marriage you're gonna have that emotional tie with your spouse and it actually makes it way harder to make logical decisions in rough times and you're always gonna have rough times you're gonna have times where money's tight you're gonna have times you know all kinds of scenarios in your marriage that is going to cause tension between the husband and the wife and there have been quite a few times that we've been in rough spots where I had to get my emotions in check and yes I know it sucks and I'm I handle it a little bit more with kitten gloves I would say I'm not as direct as I am with a client or a business partner there's a scenario where okay hey this is just a bad decision if we go this direction and I will handle it a little easier with her and be like, you know, hey, I understand that, you know, this is how we feel right now and what we want to do, but it's a really bad decision. We actually have implementations uh, that help us keep on track too. We have a board and uh, planning uh, things on the wall, and um, probably later on at some point in time, we'll do a video on that stuff. But real quick, uh, before Courtney and I uh, head out to get our day started, what is your uh, what do you want to say about that? What's your side of being on the whole making decisions and pushing the emotions out and that whole scenario? Like you said though, in a marriage you're always gonna be, you're, every decision you make is gonna be emotional in a marriage. And there's really no way around it. Making a decision in a marriage based solely on emotion is really hard to get around, but you have to you have to sometimes put that to the side. I mean, there are instances when emotion is really the only way to make a decision in a marriage, but not entirely. And there's sometimes I just need to shut up, walk away, and reevaluate when I'm not Freaking my, when my brain's not doing the wacky waving and playable arm flailing too, man. You know, uh, <laughs> it's, it's really hard to differentiate when you need it and when you don't in a marriage. But um, like I say, my, my stance is yes, that does apply because you don't want to just fly off the deep end and ruin something and you ruin something wonderful that you have. You gotta learn to differentiate when you need to apply it and when not to. With a marriage, there are certain things you have to do emotionally. That's, I mean, it's, it's the relationship, it's the marriage. So when it comes to, uh, I would say, finishing, creating and finishing goals together, uh, especially financial ones, you know, um, you have if your partners or whatever, if you're working together with your wife in your business and things like that, yes, you absolutely have to have that understanding. You gotta have, you have to be able to say, hey, I understand, you know, we have this, you know, situation. And uh, actually, we have a perfect example. We had a, we had a scenario the other day where uh, somebody wanted to, add, somebody did ask me a question about a certain situation that made Courtney emotional. And I understood immediately the unemotional response to it 
but the question was directed to Courtney and I immediately saw that she was going down the emotional road. She started out with, well, this and this, and then was, and then she caught herself and was like, well, and I can see the wheels turning, how do I make this professional? But she already started in an emotional takeoff and there was no coming back from it. So I, as gently as I could, stepped in and said, well, sir, you have to understand that that situation, it ended up being a very... Anyway, he, uh, he saved the day. Yeah, I had to go to the rest of you. <laughs> I took it over and I said, sir, you gotta understand that was a very, you know, basically, it was a very emotional and, um, you know, it's it, that's a sour subject, and uh, you know, at least for her. So uh, for those reasons, that was why, you know, we didn't, you know, whatever. And so I, yeah, you got to pick up on that stuff. It was a, it was a very expensive client, <laughs> and that was no way uh, we needed to make sure that we handled that in a very logical and professional, unemotional way. He wanted to know, he wanted to know some emotional stuff, and we got that. But uh, yeah, it was a trap. <laughs> and, uh, it's a trap. I it's caught trap. it, and, and you know we work together, and, and so we, we look after each other. So yeah, absolutely, it works for our marriage, and we handle it and we utilize it as a tool. It is a very successful tool, and I uh, hope that helps. But again, like I said, we're not marriage counselors. I have no idea what your marriage is like, and it's probably nothing near ours. <laughs> ours is pretty crazy. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that answered your questions, and we will see y'all later. Bye.